operations using numbers and calculator skills. Squares on a simple calculator. 4 squared means 4 times 4. 6 squared means 6 times 6. So when you get square questions, you type in the number times itself. For instance, 4 times 4 equals 16. Cubes on a simple calculator. For instance, 4 cubed and 5 cubed. 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4. And 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. When you get cubed questions, you type in the number times itself twice. So you'll go 4 times 4. When you press times again, the answer might change on the screen to 16. And then times 4 equals 64. Square roots on a simple calculator. When you square root, the question is actually, what times itself give me this number? Or, for instance, the square root of 49, the question is, <coughs> what times what gives me 49? And then you will use the square root key on your calculator. So, 4, 49, and then the square root. Please note that often you do not press the equal key. Bot maths. When you get a cal uh, an equation, you often wonder what which is first, plus, minus, multiply, divide, or brackets. And the answer is simply bot maths. Now, what does bot maths mean? The B stands for brackets. So in the calculation 2 plus 3 times 3, you will first do the brackets. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And when you times 5 with 3, you get 15. The O stands for over. So in a fraction, for instance, 1 plus 7 over 9 minus 5, you will first do the 1 plus 7, and 1 plus 7 equals 8. And 9 minus 5 gives me 4. Now, 8 over 4 means 8 divided by 4, and 8 divided by 4 equals 2. The D in botnas stands for divide. So in the equation, 2 times 12 divided by 4, you will first do the dividing part of the, the equation. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Now that 3, you will then multiply by 2, and 2 times 3 equals 6. The M in Bartman stands for multiply. So in the equation, 7 plus 3 times 11, remember times and multiplying is the same, you will first multiply. Now 3 times 11 equals 33. And 7 plus 33 is 40. The A in Botmas stands for add. So in the equation 7 minus 5 plus 2, you will first do the addition part of the sum. 5 plus 2 is 7, and 7 minus 7 equals 0. The very last step in order of operations is subtract. So whenever you have first done brackets, over, divide, multiply, add, then only you can subtract. But what if I ignore the bottom as rule? Well, then you will get the incorrect answer. 
So let's look at the multiply example again. So the question was 7 plus 3 times 11. If you simply calculate from the left all the way to the right and ignoring the bot mass rule, this is what will happen. 7 plus 3 is 10. And then if you multiply 10 with 11, the answer will be 110. But remember, the correct answer was in fact 40. So if we do not follow the bot mass rule, we will get a different answer to the, the correct one. Fractions converted to decimal. To convert the fraction to a decimal number, we will divide the numerator of the fraction with the denominator. So in the fraction 1 over 2, 1 is the numerator and 2 is the denominator. So on your calculator, you will go 1 divided by 2. Alright, so to convert the fraction to a decimal number, numerator divided by denominator. So 1 divided by 2 will give you 0 0.5. And we actually write that answer as 0 0,5.